So let's take out this Zill and discover what is the difference between this one and the Zill 520. Now you may have seen the Zill 520 video already. There's a lot of differences. So the one I'm driving here at the moment is a uh, 2.5 litre turbo diesel automatic all wheel drive, top of the line. It's beautiful. But the main differences between the two motorhomes is these ones have the kitchen in the rear. So for those that don't want the bunk system in the rear, these are perfect for you. The other thing is these have the entry door for the main motorhome in the back. It's on the back at the passenger side. So different entry system. If you look on the outside, uh, you start finding some very interesting storage containers uh, or cabinets. Um, the one I like is the the one in the front actually opens up and goes right through the whole width of the motorhome. Very cool if you're into fishing. Uh, you want to put some long poles in there. Whatever your requirements are, that's a very cool feature. Then you've got your other cabinets uh, ones that will hold your LPG tanks and these these will take two tanks uh, you've got a nice long storage facility again on the passenger side of the motorhome then on the rear of the motorhome you've got what they call the generator box which obviously means you can put a generator in there uh, you have access to that part from the front as well then when we go into the inside of the motorhome you'll notice that we've got a club lounge how cool is that so it's a wraparound lounge uh, the dining area uh, does drop down into a bed you do have your standard very very large bed above the cab then you do have your kitchen and everything as you mentioned in the rear now these units have got the fold down ladder which is an excellent idea because when you fold it up you can lock that in place so nobody can have access to the roof of your motorhome so on the driver's side you have access to the cassette toilet which is similar to most motorhomes here in australia and then of course the all-important outside shower so that whole door opens up you can shower away if you've been at the beach all day and you don't want to get sand inside the motorhome. Next to that, we come to the hot water system, which is your standard hot water system. And then right at the very front, we have access to our diesel tank. So they're, they're, they're actually quite amazing, the amount of storage uh, capacity that these little motorhomes have. There are uh, fly screens and blockout screens on all the windows. You can connect them together and you can have half and half or full fly screen and full block out screen. On the roof, you've got the air intake and outtake fan. Uh, these are really efficient. Under one of the uh, dining area seats, you've got your electricals and your battery charging system. And this one's got two house batteries in it as well. Then under the long seat, you've got your large water tank and this particular model is also uh, sporting a diesel heater. Also under part of the club lounge, so there's the front, these two seats lift up and you've got more storage as well. Just at the kitchen area on the floor, you've got this cool little storage facility here. You could literally throw some ice in there and uh, keep your beer cool or maybe a fish that you just caught. Under the table there is another holding area again chuck some ice in there or keep your gold bars in there but they utilize so much space in these motorhomes it's amazing automatic all-wheel drive i mean baby this is the bee's knees when it comes to these 200 series it's a beautiful looking motorhome um it's all nice and white it's got some grey accents uh, down the side, the striping, uh, but it's, it strikes such a nice picture on the road. 
uh, which is quite interesting because um, I uh, I actually uh, took this home last night. We've only just taken delivery of this, and I took it home last night uh, or yesterday, and um, uh, because I wanted to have a play with it and just learn a bit more about it, and I ended up taking my kids to school in it this morning, which was was quite hilarious. Um, but everybody was comfortable and. Um, and it was just a pleasure to, to drive and it is a pleasure to drive but here's the most interesting thing about this motorhome this particular one right here I took delivery of it literally off, the, uh, off out of the compliance center so it had already arrived from Japan uh, the compliance center had it for about a week uh, they delivered it to the yard and that was on a Saturday morning and we had it sold Saturday afternoon. These things sell like that. And and I, you've heard me say this before in regards to these cam roads, there's nothing like them in Australia. And, and it's sold to the very first person that looked at it. The very first person that looked at it bought it straight away. Well, went for a drive in it, but once they've driven it, they go, oh my God, this thing's amazing. That's, that's how impressive these motorhomes are. Uh, if you are looking for a Toyota Camaro, particularly a 200 series, uh, you need to, to get a hold of me. You can, you can contact me via our website, which is www.toyotacamaro.com.au. You can phone me on 0499846. 273 or you can come and visit our dealership at 170 Brisbane Road Arundel on the Gold Coast opposite Harbour Town Shopping Centre. Now we're going to go over some bumps. Woo! Oh yeah and that is super smooth and I've said this before in other videos these things drive beautifully on the road. Being it's a 2.5 litre turbo diesel, the top of the line uh, of these units. <clears throat> they are easily as quick as, if not quicker, than the Fiat Ducatos, uh, than the turbo uh, diesel uh, Ford motorhomes. Uh, one of the reasons is because they're quite light. Um, I only have to press the accelerator about a quarter of a way down. That's all I need to keep up with the traffic, to get up the hills. Uh, these things are so impressive and when you drive one you're going to be smiling and you're going to go gosh you were telling the truth in those videos Paul these really are a pleasure to drive lovely driving position I'm up at a good height I can see what's in front of me uh, these steering wheels are adjustable so you can move them up and down um, nice comfortable seats super quiet engine this is very quiet for a diesel um, and, and they just cruise along. Every one of them has a overdrive, so when you do get up into the motorway speeds, hit that overdrive, uh, your revs drop right down, which we demonstrated in one of the other videos. The new owner of this motorhome is going to get a five-year comprehensive nationwide warranty, and that covers everything, your mechanicals, your running gear, covers all the appliances in the rear from the fridge to the solar panels the water pumps the list is very very long and that's valid for five years that comes with every single cam road that's been purchased and imported out of Japan uh, the individual that's purchased this one they're gonna they're gonna come back in uh, in about a week and they're gonna drive it home and the reason they're gonna drive it home is because we're also including six months registration. So we're giving that included in the price, six months registration. Now again, when you when you drive these motorhomes, there's very little wind noise, if anything. You know, the seals are fantastic. You know, even though these motorhomes might be 2005, six, seven, eight models, which is gonna be the most common one, they don't look like it. They don't drive like it. You know, 
if, and I say this again in a lot of videos, and I'll keep saying this, if you say found an all-wheel drive, a four-wheel drive, 2006 motorhome that's always had its life here in Australia, and you put it up against one of these motorhomes, by the way, this one's got 82,000 kilometers on the clock, that's right, 82,000 kilometers, and you put those two motorhomes side by side, the one from Japan looks like it's brand spanking new. The one from Australia has had the hell kicked out of it. And there's various reasons for that. I mean, I guess the main one is Australia's a big country and, and you do lots of traveling. Uh, whereas Japan, it's not obviously anywhere near as big as, as Australia. It's about the size of New Zealand and 90% of it's mountains. And so you can just put it all together. They don't have a lot of areas that they can drive in and their holidays aren't as good as ours. Yada, yada, yada. So the vehicles are well taken care of, they're looked after, the Japanese love their vehicles. Um, as I mentioned before, I lived in Japan, many, many years lived in Japan. Um, I know how they treat what they own. Uh, you know, you're so guaranteed to get such a beautiful vehicle out of, out of Japan. And that's, that's all we deliver uh, on, on our dealership. So here we are at the busiest intersection on the Gold Coast right now. This is Brisbane Road and Olsen Avenue. Our dealership is just there behind us on the corner. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a hybrid next to me. I don't know what kind of car it is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag it off with the lights. And, um, and, and I didn't say that. No, no, I'm gonna be responsible and I'm just going to uh, do my own thing and uh, go at the lights just because I can and I will, but guaranteed that he's not going to pass me uh, because these things are pocket rockets. Bye bye. Yeah, this is great. Up to 60, just like that. Uh, and now we're cruising. Um, the air conditioning on these things are amazing, and I'll bring that up too because it's 34 degrees at the moment here on the Gold Coast. We're going through this big El Nino heat wave at the moment. Man, this air conditioning is beautiful. It's quiet. I am loving life. And and again, I've said it, if I didn't record right now, I'd have my music on. I'd be sitting back, chilling out, relaxing, and exploring this fabulous country of ours. Now, bear in mind that these motorhomes are very compact. Uh, this one stands around about 5.1, 5.2 meters of length. You can park them anywhere. They're super easy to drive. You're very confident driving these things. Um, it's a Toyota. Woo! It's a Toyota. Could you ask for a more reliable engine than a Toyota? No. We're talking about Toyotas, baby. And these things will go forever. I'm sure that many of you have got a mate, I've got plenty of mates, their Toyotas are up at 800, 900,000 kilometers, and they're as good as the day they bought them brand new. And wouldn't it be nice if the rest of the car manufacturing fraternity around the world actually made their vehicles as reliable as Toyotas? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, wishful thinking. But I'm really confident, I'm comfortable, I'm loving it. And it's a lot of motorhome for the dollars. It's a lot, particularly when you compare with what you can buy here in Australia, and that's all you can really do. And as I've said many times, yes, on our dealership, we do sell every shape, color, creed type of motorhome. I've sold them all. I've got a lot of them on the yard, but I love driving this one. I love these cam roads. I would take a cam road above anything else that I've got on that yard right now. I'm not disparaging those motorhomes. They're great motorhomes, but if I, if I had a choice, it would be one of these. And one of the main simple reasons is because it's a bloody Toyota. There's nothing else that is more reliable than a Toyota. And I'm not swearing because bloody is part of the Australian vernacular. So don't write to me and go, oh, you said bloody. I love these machines. They're, uh, they're, they're just so pleasant to drive. Um, now, just so you understand, they are based on the, on the Toyota Dyna system. So just a reminder that um, 
we are very happy to look at trades. Uh, you might have a car sitting somewhere that you don't use or you're not going to need it once you buy one of these camera roads. Talk to us about it. Very happy to, to discuss that with you. Uh, we, uh, we work with some of the best finance people in the country. They're really nice, right? They're, they're not vultures. They're really, really nice people. They understand about motorhomes. They understand what we are doing here. We can certainly uh, put you in touch with those people. Um, and, and we're very happy to discuss uh, holding the motorhomes for you. So for example, a common thing with our dealership is we might have um, uh, uh, people in that are retired. Uh, they have to wait for their superannuation to be cleared. Uh, we're very, very happy to work with you on that. You know, if we've got one on the yard, for example, and uh, you, uh, you know, oh, I want to buy it, I want to buy it, but I have to get my super out, perfectly fine. Uh, all you need to do is uh, sign a contract to purchase, leave us a deposit, and we will work with your uh, superannuation time frame. Um, if your house is, is gone unconditional, you've just sold your house, you've got a 30 day wait period, we will work with you because we do this on a, on a regular basis. Uh, any way that we possibly can to help you get into one of these beautiful camera motorhomes, uh, myself and the team will definitely work with you. So we're getting back into our dealership now. Um, like I said, we, we do sell a lot of different types of motorhomes, every color, creed, brand. But I gotta tell you, I, I, I would take a camera over any of them. And um, only because I'm experienced with all the motorhomes that are for sale. Let me give you our contact details again. Our website is www.toyotacamero.com.au. If you want to give me a call, my phone number is 0499 846 273. That's my personal number. You can get hold of me and you can talk directly to me. If you want to visit us in person, then come and see us. We're at 170 Brisbane Road, Arundel. We're right on the Gold Coast. We're right opposite Harbour Town Shopping Centre. If you want to fly in from anywhere in the country and you want to talk to us, we're happy to pick you up at the airport. The airport's only about oh, 25 minutes on a good run from where we are. Very happy to send a car, pick you up at the airport. In fact, I'll do one better. And it's an exclusive for this video, so you need to mention it if you buy a motorhome from me. If you if you pre-order a motorhome, that means pay for it up front, which, which now we've got so many people that have done that, because that's really only one of the real ways you can guarantee getting one of these things. Pre-order, pay for it up front, we work with your budget, we bring it in from Japan, we go through all the process. If you've flown in from anywhere in Australia to buy that motorhome, we'll refund your flight. That's a pretty good deal. Once again, my name is Paul Stevens. I do get emotional with these things uh, because I love them. I think they're fantastic. Uh, one more thing, I, 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 I got a couple of letters from you and, I, and thanks for writing to me and, and I, well, I'm hoping they were from a couple of ladies saying, why do I wear sunglasses when I do my videos? Well, it's blue sky out there. It's quite bright, but if you want to see my pretty pink? Here we go. Hello. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay. That was just for you guys. But yes, I do get emotional. Uh, I love these motorhomes. I, 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 feel comp I feel confident and happy selling them to people because I know that you're going to love them as well. So come and talk to us. Come and see me. Paul Stevens is my name. Thank you for your time. God love you. Share this video, tell your friends about it. It's a Toyota, baby. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.